five, four, three, two, one, fire. If you believe the hype, this is the future of city to city transport being tested for the very first time. It hits 70 miles an hour, whisking through 500 feet of a 1,600 foot long steel tube. The team at Hyperloop One says this short but sweet firing of a sled in a vacuum tube is the world's first successful Hyperloop full systems test. The coming out party for the first new mode of transportation in over a hundred years. Now that's a bit hyperbolic. They're forgetting perhaps about orbital rockets, practical helicopters, and even hoverboards. But this test in the Nevada desert is a major milestone, maybe giving Hyperloop One the lead in the race to deliver this high-speed tubular transportation system. Hyperloop One also used the chance to show off its prototype pod that will carry the humans, or more likely just cargo at first, and that will one day be propelled through enormous vacuum tube networks at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour with close to zero air resistance to work against. It would mean a journey from LA to San Francisco city centers would take just 50 minutes door to door instead of half a day in a car and there'd be no need to deal with the hassle of airports. Hyperloop One didn't stick its new pod in its tube yet, but instead it used a magnetically levitated sled, which it compares to a stripped down racing car, for this first chance to show all the engineering systems working together. So we've got the levitation and guidance surfaces. The levitation is magnetic, so is the guidance. We have the electromagnetic propulsion, which is a contactless propulsion system that propels the pod down the tube and then we have the tube which creates the vacuum environment and that is allows the pod to fly down the tube with very little drag. The Hyperloop is another one of Elon Musk's ideas but one that he decided he didn't have the time to work on himself. Probably smart. Instead groups around the world are racing to make his concept a reality. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is building capsules in France and wants to make a system to connect Slovakia and the Czech Republic, or maybe run through South Korea. After a flurry of bizarre lawsuits were settled, ex-Hyperloop One co-founder Brogan Bam Brogan started a new company, Arivo, and it plans to have a Hyperloop up and running in just three years. And let's not forget that a bunch of talented students from around the world are competing to build Hyperloop pods and test them in a smaller scale tube at Elon Musk's SpaceX headquarters near Los Angeles. Hyperloop One will build its initial operational system in Dubai, the emirate that likes to be first with anything new and shiny. But it may just have the vision and the massive amounts of money that it's going to take to get this new form of transport up and running for real.